Alright, so right here above me is the licking branch that I'm assuming they're going to use. Uh, I got a little shovel right here, and what I'm going to do is, instead of using my feet to kick, kick the leaves away, which sometimes I usually do, but I, got, I brought it with me, so why not use it? And just scrape all this away. Now this shovel right here, one reason I'm using it is because it has like a little saw edge on it. And uh, like this isn't recommended or nothing. It's not, you don't have to have it. But it's going to look like something's been, you know, scraping at the scrape. So that's kind of why I'm using it because it's going to give me a two and one D. Alright, that should be good enough. Um, I, I made it kind of big because uh, there's no other scrapes around. Like On this side of the property, I only have permission to hunt. On this side of the property, I only have permission to hunt the fields. I don't have permission to hunt the woods. The woods are owned by somewhere else. There is some woods I got permission to hunt, but they're not on this side. Uh, so on this side of the property, like around on the like, field edge or nothing, or anything, there's a few rubs, but there ain't no scrapes. So I figured... Once this scrape starts kicking in, you know, they're hopefully they're going to start using it. I know they're still making scrapes around here. There's a lot of scrapes on the other property, and they're they're definitely coming to the salt block. So I figured with one trail after another leading to this area, plus this is kind of on a corner, so they're going to find it real easy. Plus it's at a food area, so um, I figured it'll, it'll get a lot of use, and I'm probably... I might, uh, once I check on it and see if there's anything going on, I might move a camera over over here to check it. But, uh, yeah, so that's probably as big as I'm going to make it. Let's move on next step. So for the licking branch, as you can see right here, I kind of, I'm assuming this is going to be the branch that they use for a licking branch. If you don't know what a licking branch is, because not all scrapes have one, um, it's kind of just a branch that is broken above the scrape and that's what they uh, they use to rub their snout on, they lick, they rub their uh, heads on, their antlers on, uh, it just gets all the glands, all the scents on that little branch. Deer can smell miles, like they can smell a lot, so they can smell a long ways away. So even if just that one little branch uh, above the scrape, it's going to help kick it off just instead of having all the scent in the scrape, a licking branch is good. So. What I usually do for a, for a licking branch, when I do one, because I don't do them in all mock scrapes, especially if I'm using a scent dripper, but I'm going to show you what scent I use in my mock scrapes uh, in a minute. Uh, a licking branch is all you got to do. You just break the limb where all it does is hang. So, it's real easy to do. I'm assuming this is going to be the licking branch right here. All you do is just break it where it hangs. That's all you got to do. Now, is that necessary? I mean, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do a, lick, a licking branch because even if that's there, it might look like a licking branch, but a, a deer is going to make their own licking branch anyways. Um, that's usually what happens. Even at a real scrape, deer like to switch it up and they'll make multiple licking branches. Uh, I didn't know that until I, you know, I watched other YouTube videos just like you guys do, so I learned a lot too. Um, now I'm going to show you uh, the scent that I use and why I use it all right so when it comes to mock scrapes there's many scents out there there's artificial scents there's a uh, natural scents there's artificial and natural mixed scents there's all kinds of scents that you can buy and I'm not trying to dog on any of them scents I'm not saying any of them scents work I'm not saying any of them scents don't work um, still to this day I use a lot of I use some scents when we have it we don't always buy scents because uh, a lot of times we usually use only use calls and when we make mock scrapes like this uh unless we have a scent dripper you know sometimes we we'll use a scent dripper and we'll put scent in it to just keep it keep it active a lot of times you can also use your own urine when i say that i mean if you're sitting in the blind you're sitting in a tree stand and you gotta go pee get out of the tree stand and go pee in the mock scrape even a real scrape you can you know you can pee in a real scrape if you see a scrape don't pee on a tree pee in a scrape why do i say that because 
after 24 hours, all urine smells the same. So if I was, okay, I got to use the restroom, and I was a pee in this scrape right now, which that's what, that's what I'm going to do. And in the 24 hours, a deer is going to come if they sniff this. What do you know? They're going to think it's a deer, all right? Now, even if they come if they come here before 24 hours, human urine is known not to startle deer. So, you know, let, <laughs> you know, you urine in a, uh, in a scrape, uh, urine in a scrape, it's not going to mess the scrape up. Now, if you have a scent dripper, hang it. You know, that's probably going to work best. You know, you can have a scent dripper and you can still urinate in the scrape, all right? So, uh, this scrape right here, I made it. I want it to stay here. You know, I'm going to keep this scrape active as long as possible, as long as I can. And I'm probably going to bring a post out here one day and put a camera up so I can watch anything that goes on and all that good stuff, all right? So, uh, you don't have to buy scents. You don't have to have scents. Now, I got a little bit of scent in here that I am going to put in here just because it's leftovers from last year. And the scent that I have is known not to expire. It's, uh, it's, I've done a review on it. I'll show you. Give me a minute. It's these, li these little, um, they're kind of like wind directors. All my dough urine uh, scent is gone, but I still got a little bit of bucking in here. I, don't, I haven't used these at all this year because they're almost out. So I'm going to just put the rest of it in there, plus I'm going to urinate in it. So, anyways, I'm not going to pee on in the scrape on camera, but I will put this on in here. So why not? It's already empty. So, uh, we're going to do this, and then I'm going to show you guys a few mock rubs. Now, me personally, I don't use mock rubs because... Um, if you're gonna hunt by anything, uh, I think hunting by a scrape is is more useful than hunting by a rub. Uh, a rub isn't always a rub's not as active as a scrape, um, at least in my experience. Now I could be wrong. You know, you learn something new every day. But I am going to show you guys how to make a mock rub. Uh, but that doesn't mean I use mock rubs. If that makes sense. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna urinate in the scrape, kick it off a little bit, and we'll get back with you with a mock rub. Uh, I've only made a few of these in my hunting experiences, and I don't think any of them has ever uh, produced for me. Now, the only reason I'm showing you this is because a lot of people have had success with them. I know a buddy of mine uh, uses mock rub. Uh, he makes mock rub lines, um, and he says he has a lot of success. Now, I could uh, I could just not be hunting them right or anything like that. I do know how to make them, so I will show you guys how to make them if you want to try them. But uh, they don't work as much as a mock, rub, uh, a mock scrape. Um, now all you do is you just take your knife, I'm going to use this tree right here, I've already tr uh, cut a little bit on it, and there's also a saw on here, this is a little machete, and all you do is just, you know, you just scrape it down. Now my buddy, what he uses is an old pair of sheds, and he scrapes the trees with an old pair of antlers, that way they look a little bit more natural. Uh, for video purposes, I'm just going to use a machete, do whatever you want to do. Um, now one thing I, I, I do recommend, and I do hear a lot of people say is best, I don't have any of it with me, so for video purposes, I'm just not going to use it. But you can get uh, Tinks 69 gel, which is made to go on trees. Uh, a lot of people, what they do, they'll make mock rubs, and then they'll put that gel on there that will also attract bucks, attract does, but it's made for bucks. And it will um, keep bucks, um, the bucks will keep them uh, mock rubs active, and it just works. So I don't have no gel, but I am going to show you how to make a mock rub. So, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, looks like a rub to me. Um, the shavings are still on the ground, so a buck might see that and uh, think there's another buck in the property, but there ain't no scent on it. Bucks usually keep, uh, use natural scents for the rubs. Um, but that's how you make a mock rub. Uh, if you guys was, was planning on making a mock rub, I do recommend using Tink 69 gel. It is made to put on trees. Uh, it's not made for rubs or nothing but it does help um, kick, them, kick them rubs off. Uh, 